Alright, let's get the show on the road. Have you ever wondered why the Paw Patrol pups are really seen wearing pants? This is because of an episode that was going to be the series finale altogether. The character designers left them without pants while thinking of the idea for the episode. I was watching TV when I heard the, the doorbell ring. I went to go look, and there was a DVD for the fifth season of Paw Patrol. Everything was normal until I looked at the, the front cover. It has Zuko saying, Never before seen an episode. On the back, it said, Never before seen an episode of Paw Patrol takes place 16 days after the episode Pops of the Whale Puppy. It was meant to be the series finale, but it was scrapped. This is your chance to view it. After some thinking about it, I wanted to see the episode, so I took my portable DVD player and inserted the disc. There was this Paramount DVD logo, and at the end, a voice that sounded like the hit entertainment all play a voice said, Watching a never before seen episode of Paw Patrol. Oh, eh? You're in luck. The logo displayed the options as usual, but the only option was a DVD menu. Of course, the main menu. Of course, I clicked the button. And the DVD menu, I had to look at how it was right away in the Paw Patrol. To a pro- up staying there. And the options were play episode A, episode old, and busy Nickelodeon. I pressed play. That b- DVD began with Pop State of the Kitty Rescuing Crew and ended with Pops Up Safe as Sleepwalking Mayor. Before the never before seen episode, there was a warning. The word warning was in the Blaze Dump font. No. Anyways, sorry. The word warning was in the blaze stomp font and b- um blink showed. The, an album a large sound effect played while deep voice said, You were discretion advice. This never before seen episode in Pop Joy. This is Papa Joe, episode 18 me MA. It may not be suitable for young artists. If you're easily sensitive, please check the DVD immediately. Thank you. The the warning ended ended and the episode began. It began with the usual intro, but the singer didn't describe the of the pop of says his team of pups at all. Instead he described them as four pants wearing human turned pups. This was strange, but I kept watching. The intro ended and the power card showed. Hold up. Ryder was holding a picture of the human version of the Paw Patrol pups, with Ryder smiling. They on the top of the lookout tower. The, the Paw Patrol pups were growling at him, and they had great glowing eyes as, as if they were going to attack him. The episode was the horrifying origin of the Paw Patrol. Okay, guys, before I continue watching the video, you can, can, can watch watch the old version by looking at the link in the description, po- po- copy and pasting it, and then watching it. This is the new version. Or the second version, in case I make another version, the new version. But anyways, the, the episode began with Chase sleeping when suddenly his tail grows 10 times bigger than how small it is in the, any other episodes. At all. At all. Chase runs, afraid of what we just witnessed. His teeth are growing sharper and, his, and sharper and sharper. Chase wonders why that is, but starts to feel something inside his life jacket. He takes it off to feel what happens to be a sleeveless, dark blue shirt. Putting his life jacket back on as he rushes to a bookshelf and the book fell out. Chase is curious as he takes a look only to find it's a photo book and finds a picture. Uh, guess what the picture was? As I said before, it was a picture of the human version of the Paw Patrol Pops with violence smiling. Early. They were on top of the Lookout Tower. The picture was labeled Lookout Tower 2012. He goes to see the presenter to 2000, 9000. A machine that can detect the percentage of someone if they're a human or a dog. Chase finds out about the human percentage 
going low. And then Robotics Boy said, Chase, you were 100% human and 60% dog yesterday. Now you are 20% human and 80% dog. <laughs> Cry, Chase, as he was walking the water. What? I'm a little bit of a 40% human and 60% dog. No, I'm 20% human and 80% dog, said Chase. A human turning into a dog. Putting it to the top again. Said Butter sarcastically. Chase said, I need to learn about the history of the Paw Patrol group by looking at the book. A three minutes later, tarot card appeared. And then. Chase was wanting to tell the other pups. Guys, we used to be humans back in 2012! Since when did you find out? Said Rubble. They were going, they were going downhill six years ago. Said Chase. <laughs> it then fades to a flashback of the human Chase wearing a blue shirt and jeans. Ryder went out of his house to tell Chase the news. Chase, I know how to save Adventure City. How? Chase said. We can form a group called the Paw Patrol. Ryder said... Ed, Ed, Chase and Muse told him, That's a good idea. Suddenly, his grumbles. <laughs> oh! Chase said, I'm very hungry. We can go to the Adventure City the convenience store. We can invite our friends, but I said. We then see the rest of the team and all of them were the same outfit. Except for ever since Guy, who had the same shirt as the original version, but with pants to match their shirt. <laughs> hey guys, I have an idea. We can go to the convenience store to buy snacks. I just formed a group called the Pop Patrol. Said Ryder. Later at the convenience store, the human rubble would say as the stomach goes, Oh, my stomach rumbling. I did laugh at it. It's rumbling. I did laugh at it, but the little that I know, the episode will be scary. Ryder introduced them to a new snack called Air Pumpers. The snack was a Takis like tortilla chips that tasted like Cheez Its. But the snack had a dark secret on it, no one except Ryder knew. The Air Pumper snacks were bought for $5 each as they went home. They were going to wash it down with potions for each of them except Ryder. Aren't you gonna, gonna eat your Air Pumpers? said Marshall. No thanks, I'm not that hungry, said Ryder. They ate the air pumpers and washed it down with the potions. It then faded to a, a, a thousand ladies to die, like CCI and a mission of Chase eating the air pumpers and drinking the potion. As uh, Chase is eat and drink the potion, eat the air pumpers in the potion. A spread of, of an unknown substance, the, the, the air pumpers and the potion would go inside his butt, uh, behind the inside of a his butt crack, causing to go tail hours later. To Ron Perlman, who was who the Thousand Ways to Die narrator the, between season one and season six. If you don't know, Here's Ron Perlman. Now back to the story. <laughs> it then cuts to the suit room, but Chase puts a long, dark blue long sleeve shirt and dark blue pants and a light blue little life jacket like shirt that has a zipper. He puts it on and zipped it. We have the air pump room. Ryder will watch the rest of the Paw Patrol and Green Chase grow go their tails. The tails pop out and the members fall right over into the second part of the transformation. Oh, and by the way, in this episode, Rubble grows, grows a squirrel, a, a big squirrel tail, which, which,
She's just scared and nervous, but goes to the scrapyard. He's in shock because it's a truffle at tennis factory. He stops for a moment before he gradually rips his sleeves and he's a chainsaw of a saucer suit in half. She's in his pants and underwear. A rip, a, a rip, leaving it with only a shirt. Chase then angrily leaves the factory while barking. The screen fades with black for 10 seconds until it fades to present day. Bobo is shocked just to realize Bobo made them lose their, lose, lose their memory. I cannot believe it. I used to not I remember any of this happening, but now I do. Bobo's eyes turn on black. As people turn red. It makes me want to cry. Bubble then. Bubble, please calm down. I managed to come up with the greatest prank ever that would give Ryder karma for his horrible things. The screen fades to black. At the large room. The puffs open the door and chase acts. We've been turning to dogs for years. I'm turning 18 next month. Turn us back and let us leave. Turn you back. Ha! Are you kidding? That transformation was permanent. You're gonna stay this way forever. Oh? Then, you, then we want to try our your own snack and drink this potion. Said Chase, holding the onion is on the snack in the potion. No! Ray yelled, "It's either that or turn us back." Said Chase, "Your choice." Ray began running and ran behind the vent. Kill Don was there and said. Die to die, fool! <laughs> and then cut to, to an outside view to look at Towers with Ryder screaming. It then cut to Ryder. His joy was sleeveless. And he had no. And he no longer had pants. And on, uh, nor his human hair. He's now a dog. Just so you know. And Ryder said. My name is no longer Ryder, it's Ryder Pup. A creepy music box played as his as his pop as the Papa told his office and killed Don and the the monsters are amused by the creation. The pops in in the in blue, the blood beast howled. Well that's the episode ended. But the credits, but the background was red, the music was demonic and the text was black. The film master plays, but when it touched the ground, it exploded with blood. The Nickelodeon logo was played, but the spire was red, and the text was red, and were both to, to, to spell the dachshund. Then the Nickelodeon horror music played. I took the episode out and showed it on fire! And now you know why the Puffs Patrol don't, or Puffs don't wear pants. All because of this episode. So just so you know, Oh, Virus knew what he did was wrong, but he didn't know it would get him in trouble for his actions, and would give him extreme karma for uh, for all all the horrible things he had done to the Paw Patrol pups. So, if you're enjoying this video that you're watching right now, please don't forget to give this video a like.